My name is Ariel and I work here at Schweitzer Library, Cobb County Public Library. Today we are going to be doing a simple painting. We are going to be making a lovely little tree in a nice green field. Now for those of you at home, which essentially is everybody, you can use whatever medium you have available. You can make your tree in your field using markers, you can use it crayons, whatever you have available. I am gonna be using cardstock and oil paint. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so this is just going to be something fun and very simple. I'm starting with two different shades of green. We have a dark green here, a lime green. Uh, you just take them and mix them up, or you can just use separate shades of green. I like to mix mine up. Take your flat brush and then start at the outer corner of your paper and just smudge it. Doesn't have to be perfect, guys. This is all about creativity and fun. Just mix and smudge. If you notice, I'm using fast strokes. You do not have to use fast strokes. You can go as slow or as fast as you want. And also, Everyone, make sure when you are doing your painting, you do it on a hard surface that is easy to clean. We always want to respect our surroundings and make sure things are nice and tidy the way we found them. So, as I said before, I'm using fast strokes to do my field. You can go at whatever speed works best for you. You can mix different shades of green, or you can keep it one or two shades. I'm mixing mine because that's how I like my field to look. Now that I'm done, I'm gonna take this lime green shade and I'm just going to go in and touch up where I see white you do not have to, but I would like to for my painting. All right, guys, that's just a nice, simple field of green for you. If you want, you can go and add little stalks to make it look more like grass. And you do that by simply taking that flat brush, putting a little bit of paint on it, and then you're just going to be making short, little strokes, just like that. And that is our stalks of grass. If you have another method of making grass, that's absolutely fine. It's all about you, your work, and your creativity. All right, so that's good enough strokes for me. I like my filled. Next, guys, we are gonna be making our tree. You can use whatever brush you like. I choose to use an angled brush. Dip it in your brown paint, and you're just gonna start with a very basic line. So just stroke up, y'all. This tree could be as thin or as thick as you'd like. I like my trees to be a little bit more on the thick side, so I'm going to add a few more strokes going up. All right, my tree's about as thick as I want it to be. And I also like a sturdier root, so take your angled brush if you wanna make a root and stroke downwards to the grass. All right, now that we have our root and our trunk figured out, it's time for branches. Take a little bit of that brown paint in your angled brush, and you're gonna start at the top of your trunk, and you're going to make branches going out, like so. 
I like to put a few going towards the sky, a few branching out, a few going down. You can do as many branches as you like or as few. It is completely up to you. I think I'll do maybe one more going up and then one more going down, another one going up, another one here, maybe just another here. As I said, this tree could be as large or as small as you want. It could be an oak tree, bonsai tree, does not matter. It's all up to you and your imagination and your creativity. Now that we have our tree, it's now time for some leaves. So taking that brush that I used to make my field, I'm going to take a little bit of green and I'm going to lightly mix it with that dark evergreen and I'm going to grab just a teeny bit of that white and I'm gonna mix it and I'm going to start making my leaves. So for this, guys, I just like just to take the paintbrush and just stipple. Now, once again, if there's another method that you prefer, you are more than welcome to do it. But this is how I like to make my leaves. And like I have said, you can make these leaves as full as you want, as thin as you want. You could put them all over your tree. You could just keep them on the branches. It's all about what you want your picture to look like. I prefer for my leaves and my branches to look a little full. So I'm adding a lot of leaves. And once again, I'm going kind of quickly here, but you could go whatever speed feels comfortable to you. I mix my colors. You don't have to mix yours. You could just go all green if that's what you like. And you don't even have to make your leaves green. You can make them blue. I prefer mine to be green. I know some of you will like to fill in the page. I'm not, I'm going to keep my leaves kind of centered on the branches. And I'll just continue using quick strokes. And after I'm done with my pattern, I'll go back in where I see fit and add in more paint. And once again, guys, you can see that I am making a little bit of a mess. That is A-OK. -okay. I will be cleaning up behind myself after I am done. Remember, always respect your surroundings. So after you're done, you made a little mess, clean it up. All right, y'all. So that is my tree, my gorgeous summer tree with all of the leaves. And so now what I'd like to do is add a little bit of flowers. You don't have to add flowers to your tree at all. I prefer to have flowers to mine. So I'm going to take my white paint Add a little bit more of my white paint so I can mix it with my red to create pink. 
and I'm just gonna make pink little flowers. I'll put some at the base of my tree. You could put your flowers wherever you like. And I will dapple some flowers in my actual tree. I personally like to have quite a bit in there. You don't have to put a lot of flowers in your tree. You don't have to have flowers at all. It's just my preference. Do whatever makes you feel happy. Do whatever brings a smile to your face and joy in your spirit. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more white so I have more of a pink and less of this mauve color I have going on here. I'll put a little flower at the branches. And there, I believe that completes my tree. That is the finished product, guys. Your tree does not have to look like this. Your tree could be hyper-realistic. Your tree could be finger paint. Your tree is whatever you decided to do and whatever brought joy to your heart while you were doing it. Please join me again the next time. Once again, my name is Ariel and I'm here at Schweitzer Library, a Cobb County Public Library. It was an honor having you with me. Have a good evening.